Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya, and welcome to our bedtime routine. So I thought I would go ahead and shoot this video vlog style, just so you guys can get the most realistic view of what our true bedtime slash nighttime routine really is. So our nighttime routine actually starts at about 5 p.m. when Zaya wakes up from her afternoon nap. Are you ready to get out of there? Did you have a good nap? You wanna get out? Okay, so Zaya actually goes to preschool every weekday now and she goes for half days So she goes until 1 p.m. And if you guys are curious how she is actually going to a preschool when she's not even two years old yet Read the description box. I will explain it there. What are you doing? We get back from preschool about 1 20 p.m. And then I usually give her a snack and then I put her down for her afternoon nap. And so she basically usually takes a nap from 2 p.m. until sometimes about 5 p.m. Like I said, she is a really good napper. She sleeps for a long time usually. So at 5 p.m. she is waking up and we're pretty much ready to start our nighttime routine at that point. She usually gets pretty messy at preschool. They do a lot of finger painting and playing outside. So when I put her down for nap, I take all of her clothes off so that she can sleep cleanly, I guess. So she just sleeps in her diaper for nap time. And then when I wake her up, I usually just like either let her stay in her diaper or I just put a t-shirt on her just to hold her over until bath time later. I don't want to give her a bath in the afternoon because I know she's already going to get dirty again with dinner and everything. So we skip the bath in the afternoon, just get down in our diaper, and then let's just put a t-shirt on right now. Come here, Wubu. We also need to change your diaper because you always wake up super wet. So we change the diaper and just put a little shirt on. Okay. So I usually just pick out like a random t-shirt for her to wear to just play around and have dinner and stuff. And then of course later, I'm gonna give her a bath and change her into her pajamas. There you go. And you don't need pants. No pants, just diaper. And then usually when she wakes up from her afternoon nap, I just bring her downstairs so she can play a little bit. Look at all these toys. You have a whole toy box just full of toys. Is that all your Paw Patrol toys? Marshall? Marshall? Happy birthday! It's not my birthday. It's a cake. It's a cake? Oh, thank you. What kind of cake is it? Is it chocolate? A chocolate toy cake in a red bucket? I don't see any cake in there. Oh my gosh. Wow. One, two, three. There it goes. So yeah, this is kind of just like our gray area chill out time, usually between like 5 p.m. when she wakes up from her nap and about seven is when I actually do dinner. So we have like a couple of hours of just like play time or if I still have work to get done, I'll be sitting over there at my desk on my computer editing videos or whatever and she'll just be over there playing or maybe she'll get on her iPad, which is right there. Um, actually today I finished all of my work while she was at preschool and I actually don't really have anything that I need to work on so I can sit here and watch TV if I want to or just play with her. And as you can see, she ran straight over to her iPad when I said that. So sometimes I do let her have like her own little personal alone time where she can watch her little videos on her iPad and then I can take that time to watch whatever I wanna watch on the TV or on my computer and we kind of just chill out for like 30 minutes and then usually I'll try to encourage her to actually play with toys or do like flashcards and stuff that we have or play with Play-Doh or whatever we have to kill time before dinner. Are you dancing? Whoa, be careful. Oh, 
Whoa, break dancing, baby. Are you break dancing? No, you're just a Zaya. <laughs> okay. You're just Zaya dancing? Whoa. So while she's back there watching her videos, listening to her songs and having a dance party, I'm going to watch YouTube on my TV. I'm going to watch Good Mythical Morning, of course. Watch, watch and every time I get comfortable about to turn on my videos on the TV and I think she's good with her iPad, when she sees me turn on the TV, she wants to come over to the TV and tell me what she wants to watch on TV. I'm like, you're gonna have control over all the screens in the house? Here, put the iPad right here so I can see you. Went ahead and moved her right here so I can definitely keep an eye on her because you just never know. So Zaya has decided that out of all of her toys in that toy box over there, she would rather play with the meal prep containers. <laughs> what? You got some stuff? Are you getting bored? Is that the problem? Are you ready for dinner now? Oh! That's a plate. And put on the top. Let's pick them up and put them back on the countertop where you got them. Clean up, clean up. Here, you need help? This is how you stack them. There, okay, can you go put them back where you got them, please? Thank you. So dinner time is usually a very impromptu, very casual, very last minute thing. Sometimes I do have meal prep done that I can eat. And depending on what it is, I might share some of it with Zaya. But if it's not something that she'll eat, then I'll make her something separately. To be honest, I usually don't always have meal prep and I usually just have to throw something together last minute for myself or order something off of Uber Eats. But tonight I am prepared. I actually do have food in the house that I can cook for myself. Well, most of it is, doesn't need to be cooked. I have a rotisserie chicken that I'm going to eat. I also have some asparagus. I have some corn. I have some, oh, potatoes. I have some asparagus. I have the potatoes and I have my lemon pepper rotisserie chicken. So I really just need to bake the potatoes and cook up the asparagus and that's gonna be a really easy dinner. I am going to try and get Zaya to eat some of the potatoes and the chicken. I doubt that she's gonna eat the asparagus, but we'll see. Zaya is a very picky eater, so a lot of times I do make her dinner separately and I'll make her stuff from this brand. This brand is called Kid Fresh and they make different stuff. This is their chicken nuggets. They also make mac and cheese. They also make other little pasta meals and fish sticks and meatballs and different stuff, but it's really nice like natural ingredients and they hide vegetables in all of the stuff so this actually has vegetables in the chicken nuggets like blended up so it's not just like McDonald's chicken nuggets it's like a healthier version of chicken nuggets so I'll like heat some of these up for her I'll also do their mac and cheese that they make which also has carrots in it um, they also do like a rice and vegetables dish which is pretty good and healthy so I use a lot of these meals to make stuff that she will actually eat it's a lot easier if she'll just eat the real food that I make for myself, but that's kind of hit and miss. Ah! Want some popcorn? It's not time for popcorn. It's gonna be time for dinner soon. You always want to ask for a snack right before dinner. It's dinner time. Zaya has already got her plate and fork ready for dinner and I just started cooking. <laughs> she went in the dishwasher and grabbed a plate and a fork when she saw that I was cooking. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there. Drizzle olive oil, some salt, some pepper 
and some Italian seasoning. You hungry? You following me around the kitchen? You hungry in your tummy? Okay, almost ready. It's usually a struggle to get Zaya to eat most vegetables, but she loves fruit, so I pretty much give her a little bit of fruit with every meal. Let's sit down. There you go. You have some chicken, some blueberries, and some raspberries. Yummy chicken. Is that good? Use your fork. Can you do it with your fork? You gotta stab it hard. There you go. Good job. That's a big bite. Mmm, yummy. Is that good? Good job eating with your fork. It's white. Yeah, that's the white meat of the chicken. It's chicken breast. And then I've got my food over here. I've also got the same rotisserie chicken, the potatoes that I made, and then some asparagus that I made. Judge me all you want, but it's either one of two things when we're eating dinner. Either I'm actually not eating, or I'm eating at my desk because I still have editing to do, which happens most of the time. So Zaya ends up sitting and eating her food right here, and I'm either not eating or eating my food at my desk, or if I actually am done with my work and I'm able to sit down and have a dinner, like a normal dinner like I am today, then we do watch TV while we eat and sit here together. <laughs> spit it out, why do you wanna spit it out? You don't like that part? Okay, put it right here. You wanna try some potato? Why not? It's like french fry. French fry? I'm gonna cut you a little piece. It's good, it's just potato. I got the blueberry. You dropped the blueberry, it's okay. Here's a little bit of french fry. Yummy! It's too hot? It's a little hot, it's not too hot. Is it good? Yeah. More? See, yes, yeah, good. Here's the other part. And I'm gonna cut you up some more. Here's some juice. <laughs> All right, so typically we sit here for about maybe 30 minutes eating our food and I kind of fight back and forth with Zaya to try to get her to eat as much of her food as possible. She did pretty good today. Um, it's usually just a struggle. You probably know how it is if you have a two-year-old or a toddler in that age range. So at this point, it's basically time to get straight into the bathtub. We didn't really have anything messy that we were eating, everything, like there wasn't anything saucy or anything. But if she's eating mac and cheese or something that has some type of sauce or liquid to it, she's usually covered in it. Right now, she's really not too messy, but she is still dirty from school earlier. Honestly, I see like finger paint and stuff and just, I know she's dirty. I know you're dirty. I know Stop. you're dirty, woo woo. So from dinner, it's straight to the bathtub. And I literally just leave the kitchen a mess, I leave everything and I just pick her up and go straight to the bathtub because usually, like I said, she is a mess and I'm usually like holding her, like barely trying to touch her because she's so dirty. You want to do your letters? Letters and numbers? I think I just got these little foam letters from Target or something. Three and four, that's backwards, but 
There. Three and four. Good job. Put the O on there? Okay. What's this one, Boo Boo? S. S. You have to say S like a snake. S. S for snake. C for cat. How about this? H. H. Very good. Did you find Z? Yo, you found it. Z for Zaya. How about this one? Why? Why? How about this one? And W. W. Good job. What letter is this? E. E for elephant. E for elephant. Yes. How about this one? R. R. Good job. What number is this? Eight. Eight. Good job. This is number two. Number two and number eight. Hey, towel. Okay, I'm getting it. Dry, 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 you gotta get up so we can put a diaper on and jammies on. What? <laughs> we gotta put a diaper on. You can't just sleep on the floor, naked in your towel. actually washed her hair just now and if you guys want to see how I do that I do have Zaya's curly hair tutorial which shows how I wash it and what products I use on it so I will link that for you guys a moon a moon let me see like yeah that is a moon right there it's a monster reading a book about the moon shake 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 your hair out that's how we dry our hair we shake it shake it like a Polaroid picture Woo! Okay, that's enough. You want to read a story? Hey, what story do you want to read? You want to get down and pick one? What? Which one? You have lots of books in there. This is maybe one. It's a farm. Read about the farm? Okay. Oh, and another one? Corduroy? I have a really old blog of me reading you a story just like this, but you were a little bitty baby. And we were sitting in the same chair, but that was in my old apartment. We're gonna read Corduroy. Corduroy by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. I see bear. I see the bear too, he's got green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much money already. Ooh, Besides, mommy. he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now you can close the door. Good job. You ready to go now, night? Huh? This, this, this. You gotta have your pink blankie and your black blankie. Your two favorite blankies. 
One underneath and one on top. You need milk in a cup? You need milk in a cup? Okay. <laughs> okay. You want milk in a cup? Milk in a cup? Okay. Okay. So usually what I do after we read a story, I go ahead and get her situated in her crib. She always still asks for milk at night, so I do give it to her in a sippy cup. So I just get her in her crib and then I go downstairs and get her milk. We're trying to slowly get off of having milk at night because I know it's not the best. I've said this in some of my other videos. We're having deja vu right now. But as of right now, we do still sometimes have milk in a cup at night. Although there has been several times lately when I've gotten her to kind of forget about it and just go to sleep without any milk. So we are making progress. And I do warm it up a little bit for her in the microwave. There you go. Okay, let's get all cozy. Mm. Oh, don't open your mouth. Mm. Okay, I love you, boo boo, night night. And for the 500th time that I'm saying this on my channel, Zaya sleeps with a white noise machine. So I turn that on and she sleeps in pitch black darkness. Night night boo boo, see you in the morning. She basically drinks her milk and then she kind of just tosses the cup to the side and then goes to sleep and I don't really ever have a problem with her going to sleep at night or crying for me or anything like that. She is a really good sleeper as long as she has her favorite blankies, her white noise machine, her milk, her whole little setup. She goes to sleep pretty easily. And then now that's my time to come back downstairs and clean up the kitchen because I completely left everything how it was because I just took her straight to have bath time and bedtime and all that stuff. So the kitchen is dirty and now I have to put everything away. I just find it a lot better to just leave the mess and then just go ahead and get her situated with her bath and everything. And then it's much easier for me to clean up and get things done after she's down for the night. Admittedly, a lot of times after I put her down, I'm already just like exhausted. So a lot of times the dishes don't actually get done. I just kind of gather up the dishes and like put them in the sink, but not actually wash them or load the dishwasher. I'm just being honest. I do a lot better with actually doing the dishes like the next morning when I'm like more awake and have a little bit more energy. But I do of course always have to at least put all the food and ingredients and leftovers away. A lot of times since I'm just cooking for myself, cooking for one is kind of awkward and there's always at least one extra serving of leftovers. So I just use the meal prep containers from my meal prep video and put the leftovers in there and then typically I have that for lunch the next day. So then once the kitchen is somewhat at least halfway cleaned up, the dishes may not be fully done, but at least all the food is put away and everything is picked up. Then I move on to the rest of the downstairs area, like the living room area and Zaya's play area. And if you guys saw my other recent vlog, then you know that I recently got an iRobot Roomba vacuum cleaner. So I have kind of created a new little nighttime routine in terms of cleaning. So basically what I do is I just make sure to pick up all Zaya's toys. And normally I would try to make her put her own toys away. She does definitely know how to do that. And if I tell her to put her toys way if I remember to tell her she will do it most of the time so I need to be better about like stopping and remembering to tell her to clean up her toys before bedtime or really before dinner time is when I should do it because since after dinner we go straight to bath and bedtime then you know she really should clean up her toys before dinner but a lot of times I forget because I'm just cooking dinner and stuff like that but I just make sure all the toys are up off the floor and then I also pick up like everything else and just put it up on top of here just to get it out of the way. The little table and chairs are fine because the Roomba knows how to like get around them. And then I'm just checking to make sure nothing else is on the floor. Oh, 
found a goldfish bag. So the floors are actually not too bad today. I think because I've been really keeping up with it, with doing this every night for the past week. But you can see like there are some little crumbs and little particles and stuff. And over here near the table, there's definitely stuff that Zaya dropped when she was eating and stuff like that. And then from me cooking in here, there's like some little crumbs and stuff. So just to keep it as spotless as possible, now that I've got everything picked up off the floor, I can just run my Roomba. And this is definitely not sponsored or anything. I bought this thing with my own money, but I just think it's pretty cool. So you just press clean and I'm doing it with my foot. And then it just cleans, you know, vacuums the floor for me. And eventually it'll make its way around the whole entire living room and kitchen and it'll vacuum up the whole floor. So I just let that run, don't have to do anything and that keeps my floors clean. I've really been liking it so far. I wanna say it goes for like an hour or maybe even two hours. It does take quite a long time. That's why I do it at night and just kinda let it do its thing. And then it goes back onto its charging dock by itself. So I kinda just let it run. I might already be in the bed, but I just let it finish while I'm asleep. But the next thing I do while I'm still down here and the vacuum is running is prepare Zaya's lunch for school for the next day. So I just keep her a little Peppa Pig lunchbox and her little lunch container thingy majiggies down here. So I know I've showed these before, but I used the little Systema little plastic containers to put her lunch in. And she brings a reusable water bottle with her to school, so I try to remember to fill this up and have it ready to go as well. Meanwhile, my little Roomba is just doing its job at my feet, and if it bumps into me, it actually like will turn around and get out of the way. And then I just put these two in the fridge, and they're ready to go in the morning. And then at this point, a lot of times, like I said, I'm still working on different things for work in terms of editing videos and stuff like that. So if I did have another video to still edit, I would do that now. <sighs> By this point, I'm usually super exhausted and my back is hurting. I have a bad back. It's it really sore, so I just love to just Oh, finally lay down and my back can relax those muscles and it feels so good. <sighs> okay, but before I literally fall asleep, I need to actually do my little nighttime routine and change out of these clothes and stuff. All right, so change into my little nightgown sleeping thing. I love sleeping in little like little dress thingies um and yeah so now i'm just gonna do my nighttime skincare routine and usually i like to take showers in the morning but of course i do wash my face and all that stuff at night and i do have to be a little bit careful right now because i just got my lash extensions redone so i can't like douse my eyes in water but still gonna do my nighttime routine of course So now typically I will just watch some TV in my room. I have an Amazon Fire Stick and I got a new bigger TV. So I'll either do Netflix or YouTube. So I will typically be watching something on Netflix or something on YouTube in the background. But what I really like to do when I get in the bed at night is just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll on Instagram and Twitter and sometimes Snapchat and just any social media, but Instagram is my favorite because I like to watch slime videos and satisfying sand cutting videos and tiny kitchen videos and just like any and everything. I go into this crazy like wormhole of random Instagram posts and I can just scroll on there for hours, which is not good for my insomnia. So lately I've been trying to like turn off the TV, put the phone down and go to sleep. But sometimes I have really bad Bad insomnia anyway so I like to watch really satisfying things on Instagram uh, so I'll do that for probably at least an hour if not more until I fall asleep meanwhile I don't know if you guys can hear it but the Roomba vacuum cleaner is still going on downstairs and like I said that will stop automatically and then the floors will be all clean in the morning and size lunch is packed for school tomorrow 
her hair is washed everything is good to go so yeah i mean that's pretty much my nightly or evening slash bedroom routine as you can see it's a pretty simple routine nothing too special about it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway if you did make sure to give the video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot oh we need a comment of the day i always forget about the comment of the day okay so the comment of the day is going to be what was your favorite childhood bedtime story or your favorite book to read? Do you remember like what book you always read as a kid? Comment down below what that was. Or if you can't remember and you have kids, comment what your current favorite book is to read to your little ones. So yeah, comment that down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Good night.